Hey guys, this is the beginning of my Mac OS X Lion playlist, and I know Lion has been out for quite some time now, but I thought I might as well create this playlist for users who are new to Mac OS X Lion, or are considering buying Mac OS X Lion and upgrading from Snow Leopard, or for users who have used Lion but may not know about all of the features. So to start off this playlist, I will start with a feature called Launchpad. Launchpad allows you to present your apps on your Mac similar to how iOS displays its apps on a home screen. Uh, traditionally on a Mac, you use the Applications folder to access your apps, so you can see the app icons here, and you can also see folders which you can navigate into. But Launchpad, which is a new feature in Mac OS X Lion, gets rid of the functionality of this applications folder on the dock entirely. Now, there are multiple ways to open up Launchpad. On any Mac, you can just click on the Launchpad icon to enable it. On any multi-touch enabled MacBooks, or if you have a Magic Trackpad, you can open and exit Launchpad by using a pinching gesture, using three fingers and your thumb and you pinch them together and you can open up Lion, um, spread them apart, and you will close Launchpad. Sorry, I didn't mean to say Lion, I meant to say Launchpad before. Um, but on a Mac using a Mighty Mouse or a Magic Mouse, normally you just have to click on the Launchpad icon, but I have downloaded and used a System Preferences extension called Magic Prefs, which allows you to create your own custom multi-touch gestures for your magic mouse. So I've set mine so that I can open up Launchpad by using a three finger upward slide. So if I do that now, I can open up Launchpad. So on Launchpad you can see it looks very similar to the iOS home screen. Um, you can scroll through by using a multi-touch gesture, just sliding left and right across, and you get that bounce similar to iOS and I don't know whether it's lagging or not because I have this QuickTime recording open. So you see the icons are very large, you get the little text underneath it. On the first page you get your Apple apps and on subsequent pages you can store your third party apps which you download from the Mac App Store. And I forgot to point this out earlier, you have these little dots here very similar to iOS and you can still access your dock this way. Um, in Launchpad, you also have folders, just like iOS. Click on them to open. Oh, this appears to have crashed. You can click on folders to open them, and then click anywhere else to close them. And just with most of the Mac OS X animations, if you hold the Shift key and click on it, you should be able to get the animation in slow motion, just like that. I can close it again. And I'll see if I can use the animation to switch between um, screens. There we go. And if you want to edit the layout of your applications, you can just click and hold, and then you'll get into that jiggle mode, which is exactly like iOS. You can drag apps onto each other to create new folders, double click on the title and you can change it, so we'll just change it to MP Navigator and you can add other apps into it just by clicking and dragging them in just like that, or you can drag them out and rearrange them, just like that, and to get rid of it just click anywhere else and it stops Okay guys, that's it for this video. Leave your thoughts as comments down below about what you think about Launchpad. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe.